Hello everyone, in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about how to use XPASI, a translate tool for the translation of a nucleotide DNA or RNA sequence to a protein sequence. Okay, so just go to Google and then type XPASI translate and the, the website for which is uh, www.web.expasi.org slash translate the link for which I will provide in the description uh, so then when when you type in this website then you know something like this kind of window will appear okay this kind of window will appear then what you need to do is that you are going to put DNA or RNA sequence okay so then you are going to put what DNA or RNA sequence so basically I'm gonna paste the sequence of RNA mRNA that I have already copied and after pasting the sequence then what you can do is that you can simply uh, do translate okay so after you press translate then what you see is you see open reading frames that are highlighted in red okay so this uh, there's, there are different open reading frames we have actually three different frames so frame 1 5 prime to 3 prime frame 2 uh, frame 3 uh, and again 3 prime to 5 prime frame 1 frame 2 and frame 3 so these are our okay so uh, different frames okay so here you can put either RNA sequence or DNA sequence doesn't matter so and in the output format you can also select you can uh, select raw rows with uh, methionine stop codon and spaces between residues and you can also uh, or include nucleotide sequence if you want then I can also try for this one let's see what kind of result we get after I select nucleotide sequence and as you can see that it has nucleotide sequence and corresponding amino acid and this one I like it actually so uh, this here red indicates uh, that this is a uh, open reading frame okay so then this is how actually you can translate using your DNA or RNA sequence uh, into protein or amino acid sequence okay so it's very easy simply copy or paste your sequence here and click on translate and click on the out format that we, we you want so then you will get your translated sequence translated into amino acids okay so this is pretty easy I hope guys this video was helpful thank you very much uh, for watching our videos please share and like the video and subscribe our channel to support us thank you